Welcome to your final reading of the year of 2017. Libra, this is your December reading with me. These cards are a tarot deck. They are designed by Doreen Virtue. So they work sort of more in the realm of positivity. And I thought that was a really good way to move out of 2017 and start the beginning journey for 2018. Remember December is a wonderful time to make intentions and thought patterns on taking you forward for next year and imbuing all those positive mantras and ideas and concepts about how you want to take, move into 2018 and where you want to be. We are using seven of these cards in a layout and I will work through that with you as we get into the reading. So Libra, let's see what's in store for you guys for December. 2017. The first card, Prince of Summer, Princess of Spring, the Empress, Life Experience, Six of Winter, Three of Autumn, and Five of Summer. So you can see the cards are a little bit different than we would normally see in a tarot deck. She has designed them in a slightly different perspective, however they are still the exact same cards. So your first card up there, the Prince of Summer with the teal colour, is actually the Cups sign normally. So that is the Prince of um, Cups. The next one, the red one, is the Fire signs, the Princess of um, Fire or wands. The third one is your major arcana, the empress. You have another major arcana down here, number 16, life experience. Then you have a dark blue color which is the swords and that is the six of swords. You then have a green, you have such a lovely mix, it's very colorful and bright. This is the three of autumn and the green are known as the earth or the pentacle sign and then we have another one of the teals and this is five of summer which is again the five of cups. So your first card is work prospects, the second card was home and needs, the third card is luck and desires, the fourth card is friends and support, the fifth card is love and sex, the sixth card is plans and goals and the seventh one is personal quest. So you've got such a beautiful colour palette working in here. You've got all of the different colour realms coming in. It's very gentle and soothing with the little fairies at the top and um, the feeling of floatingness and flying through the air with a lot of the butterfly wings. So I think there is a feeling of movement coming for you guys. We can see this with some of the cards that have arrived, but also the cards are very light and floaty as if they are moving along. So it's, an, it's not surprising because December is the end of the year and we are literally time traveling or moving into next year. So some things will get left behind and we will be embarking on new adventures as well. So let's move into your reading and we start up there in the top left with the Prince of Summer and he is surrounding your work prospects area and you can see that he's way up in the air on that beautiful um, essence of life, you know, the dandelion. When we find one of those dandelions in the paddock, we pick them up and we can blow them and make a wish on them. And he is literally giving this type of energy. So he's very um, much about imbuing some sort of romantic thought or concept about life and wanting it to take place. So the words that Doreen Virtue uses are romantic, captivating, dramatic, flirtatious. And it says falling in love suddenly or being swept off your feet. The need to stay grounded and during a very emotional experience. So for some of you, given that this is relating to work prospects, there could be a real passion around your desire to 
connect with your career at a heart level. So some of you could be feeling next year or you know into December, I really want to just feel passion about my job or my career or where I'm headed with this. So this could become a very emotive time or a time of seeking new beginnings especially and new offers coming in around areas that excite you. So for some of you, you're going to literally get this feeling. It's going to come in through the airways and you're going to be offered possibly this feeling of, wow, this is almost like my dream scenario. I'm really happy to be in this place or space. So keep your eyes out for offers coming in that really do connect with your heart and your soul and the journey that you want to move forward with. And for others of you, this could be representative of someone in your life who is there that can help you make a move into a step of, you know, like passion or connection with your work or your career or that perspective or dynamic of your life. So it's a really cool card to get. It's a great way to start. When we're passionate about things in our life, we find that we get so much more connection and vivacity and awareness and we have more power. We have more strength to go forward with it all. So look at that card and really focus on the wish of dreams and the possibility of them coming true. It's a great way to start the year. Oh, when I say great way to start the year, I'm really feeling that December is a very powerful month that just literally is the keyhole into opening the door for 2018. So you'll hear me refer about it as literally being the energies for 2018 because I feel very much that way. We don't often pay enough attention to the end of a year, you know, we're so busy just getting rid of it and, you know, moving into some sort of holiday mode or finishing off projects that we forget that this is actually the beginning of the next year coming and to focus on it and all the opportunities. So the next card is around your home and needs and this is the princess, so you've got these two court cards next to each other, sort of giving off similar beautiful floaty light, you know, bubbly effervescent energy. And she is the princess of um, wands, so the fire sign energy there. And the words are optimistic, enthusiastic, creative, energetic. So it's time to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizons and let your creativity take flight. So remember, this is around your home and your personal needs area. So you've got two lots of these really young energies around your vision if you like and these young ones like the prince and the princess they are so bubbly and they they really do push us to feel more emotion and to feel more connection so it's a great time to grab onto these energies when they turn up in your life they can also represent physical people so some sort of younger people coming in that either create this feeling of optimism or enthusiastic energy and they can help sort of push you into action, push doors that open and allow this creative resources to be there. So some of you around your home and your personal needs, this is a time to really grab onto it and feel invigorated and excited and inspired about either projects that you're doing or things that you want or directions you want to go forward. It's a good positive card but she certainly will start things flying. I mean look at her, she's cheeky, she's sitting there on that swing um, moving back and forward and she's very luring as if to say come on don't sit back on your laurels, join me because I'm going to start you going. So I feel lots of action for you coming in in December. It's almost like um, you know, you're an air sign yourself, so you have the ability for all this action. But I feel like you're going to get swept up into some of it somehow. And it could be that other people are involved in creating it with you as well. So number three is your luck and desires. And this is the Empress. So it says, time to take action. The power of creativity and success that allows for a life of luxury. Guys, you know, those first three cards are just so activated. It's really synergy. It's like it's a powerful synergy, and I can feel it when I look at the three cards at the top. There's just this movement, and there is there's a there's a beauty connected with it, like a real genuine attraction. There's some sort of 
possible attraction for some of you going on in this month of December as well. And this could be a love attraction, or it could just be attraction of life, of just feeling the wonder and the glory of life and how amazing it is and how opportunistic things can be. And that events can still take place and give us this feeling of elation and connectedness. So for your luck and desires, the Empress tells you, take action. So if you have dreams, if you have projects, if you have things that you want to manifest in your life, now is the time to, to take the action on it. Don't just dream it. You've been given all this action over here that's really propelling you off your butts and getting you kicked into the air. So do it, Librans. You know, you have that tenacity to do it. Three really good cards to kick into the beginning of your reading. And they definitely show us people around you as well. Now, the other thing about the Empress, she is a very fertile card. She often imbues new relationships coming in as well um, and love sex relationships the rekindling of that uh, physical feeling she can also symbolize fertility in conception with children so there's that possibility for some of you as well let's move down to the fourth card and we see here this is friends and support and we see life experience number 16. now most of you will probably know that this is in essence the tower card so the tower card when it comes in always teaches us that something that we've been doing or holding on to is unbalanced and we need to let it go so that we can move forward with all this wonderful new creativity coming in she says, let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. An important life-changing event and a situation that leads to significant opportunities. And I like the phrase that it's a situation that leads to opportunities. So whenever change comes into our life, it always opens new doors. Sometimes we're reluctant to accept change or to walk into it freely because we're still attached to whatever we're holding on to. So it's kind of important when this card turns up to be prepared to let go. You know, don't hold on to stuff that you think is serving you or that you think you can't go without. There are always times for everyone in life when we find a few difficulties. But the rest of the month and the cards that are there and the colour and the passion I'm feeling is so vibrant that I think this one here is just um, a kind of like a it's just in the corner, it's happening and it's there and you might be a little bit disappointed about it but it's not the whole big picture and it's not the whole spinning wheel. Now remember if we're thinking this is around friends and support so it feels as though some of you with some of your friends you might be uh, letting them move on or there might be disagreements. Now I have seen when the tower card comes out before it can also be associated with the career. So sometimes in your workplace you could see disagreements pop up and there can be actually when people just walk out and they go that's it I'm leaving. I have also seen this card turn up in uh, family relationship issues so this could be something at a fairly close level where there's a falling out or a you know a discombobulation of uh, relationships where people just start to go their own way. So it's life it happens and sometimes we can't please it all the people around us either and sometimes it's important to take a stand and not be allowed you know not allow yourself to be the doormat for other people's emotions or bad behavior so sometimes it's about standing up for yourself and saying no I'm not tolerating it anymore so there's a whole host of different energies that the card can pertain to and for each one of you it will obviously be different synergy that's um, that's occurring but we move on to the next card, which is love and sex, and we see here the Six of Winter, which of course is the Six of Swords. It's one of the really good sword cards to actually have, and you've only got one in your reading. And the, the words down below say, positive changes are on their way, a welcome relief from troubled times, traveling or relocating. Now it's interesting that it's come right next to the Tower card, I always like the Six of Swords, it's denoted as one of the cards of travel. So some of you literally this month could be travelling 
and some of you that means across the, the ocean, so to a different destination in countries. It could be quite a big trip, and that's a physical trip. Sometimes it's more for pleasure than work, but there can be this um, feeling of leaving, as they say, something behind and relocating. So some of you could even be leaving your home, which could be this as well. The fact that you feel, oh my gosh, you know, I have to leave home and I'm leaving my friends behind. So there's this feeling of trepidation and uh, anxiety that can be surrounded by that. But the card, the Six of Winter or the Six of Swords, tells you that you're moving into a smoother phase, a smoother energy that's coming, allowing anxiety or the feeling of tension or nervousness to drop off. So it's a positive card that says keep going and move into this light up here. It can often be that you are moving out of troubled times with relationships and that's the other kind of paradigm of the card and it's very interesting that there is this one next to it. So they're very tightly tied and it, it, it possibly is either around family members or work relationships where this um, business is going on. But whatever happens, it's taking you forward and into a better place and you're going to feel kind of relief and a, a, a lightness, if you like, after it. The other thing, um, yeah, so it represents literal travel, but it also represents emotional travel into a more positive perspective of your life and a positive place as well. So we move to the next card, the card number six, which is plans and goals. And this is the three of coins or the three of autumn. And it says, follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you can do. And it says also being compensated for your creative talents. So some of you could find that you receive either an accolade or approval or acknowledgement for something you have done or are doing or will be planning in the future. So it might be that some of you are submitting something for consideration for print or um, like to a, an, an agent or something along those lines and you're waiting to hear well this might be a positive outcome that some of your work is being accepted. So this could be written work or it could be like IT technological work um, or it could be artistic and creative work as well, Lit literally people who are artists, and that also includes musicians as well. So, yeah, I, I just think there's a lot of positivity here for you guys. So there is some success around career and prospects or projects that some of you have been involved in. Now the other thing is too, for you, those of you working in a sort of an nine to five type career this is often the same type of energy coming in so somebody either acknowledging you or approving of the work you're doing or um, being grateful for the skills that you offer in the workplace sometimes it also means working with three people or a team of three so that can also be um, part of the goals or dreams that are going on here and then we come to the personal quest, the last card, which is Five of Summer or the Five of Cups. And we see here, it says, trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from negative emotions of others and focusing on that which frightens or worries you. So it kind of comes back to this over here. And this is something about a personal quest for you. So there is something involved for you guys about either moving through or rebalancing or going into new areas where it's associated with the heart and with relationships. So you could have had some sort of, you know, like glitchy energy with people around you. And I'm thinking again, this could be family or um, career, depends on which. Again, it's different for everyone. But this is a quest of yours to get to this point where you no longer have to either tolerate it or be with it or have it overwhelm you or take hold of you feeling wise so you've been given a lot of messages in here about uh, you know activating your dreams and getting some action fired up and knowing that you are moving ahead so this one to end with it's kind of been on your mind for a while I think and you're wondering how it can possibly happen or how do you move through it well, this month, these cards are telling you how that can happen. So go back and rethink it out. 
re-energize yourself, bring in some of that creative passion and fire yourself up to take you into 2018. Boot out this stuff, don't be a doormat for anyone and stand up for yourself and have faith knowing that you will move forward and that there are others around you too who appreciate all your work and effort. So there we are Librans, that is a really colourful, sort of bubbly, exciting reading for the end of December. I hope that you have a wonderful celebratory insight for the new year for 2018 and that you move into that new energy with gusto, enthusiasm and wonderful creativity. Thanks for listening and joining me everyone. It's a pleasure to be able to be of service to you all. Much love. Namaste.